Hello everyone and welcome back to the Green Family Legacy where we are still at the family farm because nifty knitting has come out and I want to knit things. And thankfully our great Aunt Allison, the family ghost who haunts the farm, is equally content to explore knitting things and she is currently working on a multicolored pair of green socks which just sounds so exciting i cannot wait to see what she is going to knit for us and i'm also very very happy to be back at the farm because there is just so much going on here it is spring we have a lot of things we need to be taking care of in the fields and with fern having moved out and allison distracted it's really gonna fall mostly to pine to take care of those things but he's also very busy taking care of the family he was just taking care of little griffin and trying to teach griffin how to say sorry. He's got laundry to do. He's still mourning uh, Allison. <laughs> She's fine. Fine. Seriously, get that frown off your face. Allison is rocking in a rocking chair of all things, knitting on the back deck right now. Just because you can't see the family ghost doesn't mean that you need to like be so sad for her sake. Oh dear. All right, so he is currently feeling pretty sad. Griffin has escaped and is off to go imitate the dog again. He was supposed to be getting a little bit of attention in the form of uh, like learning how to say sorry, but I swear every time we try to teach this kid how to say sorry he just like runs out on it and now that the kids are home aspen is actually playing with toby which seems to oh and we've got more knitting skill we can now knit furnishings <gasps> mailboxes with cozies and plant holders are you kidding me are you kidding me allison we need to make a plant holder as soon as you're done with those socks oh geez and here's the kid this is kengo one uh kengo watanabe who has actually come over uh, he is a bit of a troublemaker at, at school, actually, and he has started to make friends with Aspen because Aspen really tends to act up in class because his teachers really don't know that he has some learning issues. He needs to be a much more visual and tactile learner, and they keep throwing textbooks at him. So it makes him act out. Uh, but let's go ahead and have him... Let's just have him go and play. Brighten the day of his friend. And then I want them just to go off. No, 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 don't send him home. Don't send him home. Here, we're gonna make a special little kids club because I want the kids just to be able to play on their own without having to worry about it. Um, and can a kid make a club actually? Can I make a club as a child? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, he's in like all these clubs, including the Greener Days ch Kids Chores, which is where the kids have a bunch of chores. Can I leave the club? I can't disband it. Can I? Like, oh, there we go. Green kid hangout, green kid chores. Let's do the kid hangout. We'll cancel that membership. And then can I, yay, you can make just a little kid club. I absolutely want to do that. Just a little kid club so that these two will go and have fun. Um, maybe get into a little bit of mischief. I think these two are a little bit of mischievous uh, friends. So we're just going to be like Aspen's friends. There we go. Up to who knows what, but it isn't going to be homework. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then we're going to add our friend. Let's see. There he is. We're going to add Kingo into here. And we're going to have these guys spend a little bit of time doing fun and games. They're just going to go play. I just want to be able to turn on the club event and then just turn away and the kids can just go play whatever they want. I don't think they'd be playing chess whatsoever, but maybe horseshoes. I could add some horseshoes in here. Um, kid activities. There we go. Look for lost toys. Do homework. Absolutely not. That is something that we're going to put on the restricted list, actually. Play with toys absolutely play with toys. This is so much fun. Uh, write in private journal, use activity table. Maybe the activity table. I could see them having fun with the activity table. Maybe not like this particular pair, but you know, just to play in closet. That would be fun. I don't think we have a closet anymore. Make a mess. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I wonder. Blow bubbles. That would be fun too. Battle with void critters. They don't have void critters right now, but they really should. Play on playground equipment. 
that's what I really wanted to see. And so, so we don't have horseshoes, I'm just gonna remove that. And then mischief. So I'm gonna have these kidlets. This is so fun to be able to be with the kids after so long. Um, all of those are too mischievous, like shout forbidden words and stuff isn't really what they would be doing right now. So they're gonna be, uh, let's have them be funny to each other more than anything. And then let's have them be mischievous. Can we have them be uh, mischievous to adults? Be mischievous to age. <laughs> Any of the teens, young adults, adults, but they'll, they'll leave the elders alone, I think. So be mischievous to the adults. <laughs> I love that. And we're gonna ban the action of doing homework. Are you kidding me? Not these two. All right, that's awesome. And then Aspen actually wanted to start a club gathering. So we're gonna start the club gathering. And then I'm just going to leave these two alone and hopefully because we have that club going I don't have to mess with this I don't have to worry about it and Aspen will just take care of everything and like play with his friend on his own I don't know about you Kingo. I hope that you're gonna turn out okay, but he has been a troublemaker pine Stop crying over the family ghost. She is fine pine. She's fine But this guy has gotten us into a bit of trouble in the past. So we'll see how that works out anyway Knitting things, going up the knitting skill very quickly. Amber's also home. She's extremely focused and playing Sims Scuffle, but we're gonna be doing something cool with Amber, who is now the eldest child at home soon. Uh, and meanwhile, Griffin wants to talk about his day with Allison. <laughs> the family ghost, he's gonna have a connection with ghosts when he grows up for sure. Uh, and Devin is upstairs working on writing her book that is going to expose some of the scummy corporate secrets that she has learned over the past few weeks of getting hired and fired from company after company as she has cleared them out one, two, three, four, five times. Who knows if we're gonna be able just to ride out her fame doing nothing, literally nothing, like she's almost a level three celebrity with a good reputation just from closing these scummy businesses down. I love it. All right, but that's what the family is up to right now. And we're basically just going to focus on Aunt Allison, great Aunt Allison the rest of the time. I hope that Pine will just take care of what he needs. Oh, I'm gonna have Pine actually. Oh, Pine, what a good, good dad. I was literally going to say I need Pine to come and work on, here, we're gonna have him clean that first on making dinner. So I'm gonna have him serve dinner. I'm gonna have him, I was feeling like mac and cheese and Pine's sad and he tends to eat his feelings. So we're gonna make some mac and cheese for dinner. And there, the rest of you all take care of yourselves. Oh wait, I have one more thing to do. All right, we're gonna come over and with Amber, I wanna show you guys something cool that I actually downloaded recently. We're going to have Amber use this mod that I'm sure all of you already have from Kawaii Stacy to find a job, quote unquote, find a job. And what it actually is going to be is she's going to get into a new after school activity. So this is a really cool mod that maybe like I could do a spotlight of one day, though I'm sure there's dozens of them out there already from Kawaii Stacy that adds in clubs that you can actually send your kids to. And I love that. Drama Club was something that was added in with Get Famous, but it's not really something that, you know, Amber, who wants to grow up to become a famous surgeon, she really wants to understand the limits of the human body. She really wants to understand the frontiers of where science can take medicine because she was so traumatized from meeting Great Aunt Allison as a ghost and is just really worried about those things. But she can come and finally join some clubs that will actually help with those skills. Um, for example, like look at like look at everything. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. All right, so these after school things include, let me read them off because this is amazing. Anime Geek Club, Babysitter Club, Balanced Yoga Club, Ballet Dance Club, Band Team, Baseball Team, Basketball Team, Book Reading Club, Cheerleading Team, Chemical X Science Club, Debate and Switch Club, Do Re Mi Karaoke Club, 
Easel Art Club, Film and Yearbook Club, Football Team, Gym Member, History Geeks Club, Joker Com Jokester Comedy Club, K-Pop Club, La Fashionista Club, My Flower Garden Club, Nature Awareness Club, No Pawn Chess Club, Party Planning Club, Pet Sitters Club, Public Enemy Club, Respawn Gaming Club, Step Team, Study Hall, Sunny Volunteer Club, Swim Team, Robotics and uh, Tech and Robotics Club, Tasty Cooking, Toasty Cooking Club, Track Team, and Wrestling Team. Like what? <laughs> there are so many now. So I'm going to say that the Green family is starting to look into better schools to be able to send their kids to, especially because Amber has these aspirations of becoming a doctor, and Aspen's been really struggling. Uh, and we're going to go ahead, and I'm actually going to have Amber. What does the book reading club do? Are you looking for something to do after school? This may be the perfect activity for you. Apply now. This skill activity affects character values, homework, health motives, creativity, writing skill, and mental skill. Um, or she could do chemical X science club. And this would affect character values, homework, health, mental skill, social skill, ro uh, robot science, and logic skill. Hmm. I think she might join chemical X club. But I think she might be in, like, just the book reading club for a little bit. Because I don't think her club has, or her school, pardon me, her current school has the ability to go to such a fancy club. However, I have plans for where Amber will be actually spending her high school. And it's not going to be the quiet countryside of Windenburg. But we'll talk about that later because we're supposed to be working on knitting. So I'm going to send her to book reading club for now. Um, there we go. She will quit the position of Pegasus Scout. Ugh. Okay. As much as I think she wants to ditch the Pegasus Scouts, I think she's really close to maxing that. And I think her mom is like, you cannot quit until you finish. So actually, dang it, all that work for clubs. And then we actually can't quit it. But I think we're really close to becoming like a llama corn scout or whatever. So sorry about that, Amber. I really thought we'd be able to move on in life. However, we can't. Let's view badge progress. And then we'll have to see what she needs to work on now. Because I don't think that her mom, I don't think Devin would let her daughter quit right before being able to, <laughs> you know, collect all the badges. So I think it's going to be keep fit. To earn this badge, perform dance or exercise activities or outdoor adventure. To earn this badge, perform out, outdoorsy activities like catching fish, finding frogs, or grilling outdoors, and giving back. To earn this badge, donate items for charity to the mailbox and computer, or perform friendly social to give gifts. <gasps> we could go ahead and have her knit! She could learn knitting from Great Aunt Allison, even though she doesn't want to, and she could pretend the whole time that she's actually stitching sutures, um, so that she could create knitted items for charity. Oh my word, I love that idea. Uh, but I'm going to let Allison get a little higher up on that skill before we worry about that. So for now, let's go ahead and send our girl out jogging. She's going to go jogging and work up an appetite before dinner. There we go. And now everybody's taken care of and we can focus on the knit knit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this family. It's been so long since we have been here just relaxing with them. Even though it's not usually relaxing, it's complete chaos. I can't wait to just leave yarn balls scattered all throughout the house. And I'm just so excited to see where the Green family want to take their legacy. And I'm beginning to understand why it's completely understandable how they've just kind of low-key forgotten about Fern. You know, she's off to college now and there's kind of like dripping wet clothes and crying toddlers to distract everyone else. Also, why Allison relaxes and works on this, I would like to show you guys how over here with our cow plants, I have actually renamed them! So I went through our Patreon list and thank you so much to our patrons, truly, especially with everything going on in... Oh, and there's some new sockies! <gasps> Yay! Allison has some new sockies! Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. But truly, if you guys haven't seen it, it's really difficult for me to talk about everything that's going on in my personal life right now, and I don't want to 
I don't want to make the videos that we enjoy our adventures with about that, but if you could check out the community post, you will see some stuff that's happening um, in my family's life and in my with my health and with my life too. And so it's from the bottom of my heart that I want to say thank you to our patrons who are going to make it possible to get through the next few months, even if the videos are going to be a little bit wonky. Um, without being so afraid and with being able to keep myself very hopeful. So I pulled up the Patreon list and we have a lot of fun. Now we have Michael, we have Treen, we have Melissa, we have Okapi, and we have Kaiva, uh, who are now magnificent quality cow plants. And then we also have Old Moonburn, who I just named a random name because I didn't want to like immediately kill a patron. That's never good form. And we do try to keep all of the the deceased cow plants <laughs> just because I feel badly about it. So I do try to keep the deceased cow plants in the basement. Um, did I put them in a separate little, what's this? Faded memories, construction quality concrete. How did I get them in a pot and this one doesn't have a pot? <gasps> oh, did this one just like reset? Oh, what happened to Old Moonburn? Is he alive now? Old Moonburn, are you dead or alive? Oh, there we go. Oh, you can make him so small that when he gets too small, then he just turns back into like a little, a little sprout. Oh my gracious. All right, so Old Moonburn's gonna come live in the basement just cause I, I feel badly when the cow plants die, but we could also possibly turn that into like really cool decorations at like a abandoned forest the family could own one day. Uh, anyway, that's what's going on there. <laughs> and then let's come back over and let's do some more knitting. All right, so ooh, knit objects, the plant holders, yes. Okay, so how do these plant holders work? So we have different types of plant holders with different pots. They're $20. They're not stuff that has the like unlock like icon next to it because they're clearly not going to go into your cast. So there's just, oh, look at this, short uh, plant holders for plants in teal, green, and brown pots. So you can have one pot or multiple pots. And then short brown zigzag holder with white pot. And these ones, do they actually have like actual plants in them? There are so many more than I thought there would be. Oh, and then here's medium length. So you can do short, medium, and long length. Let's do a long brown, long brown zigzag with pink pot with, let's do a white pot long, and then we can like hang it behind her maybe. I want to see what that turns out to be like. This is so exciting. I am really tickled about this. Uh, and then we're also going to work on the new aspiration that has actually come with the Nifty Knitting Pack, and that is Lady of the Knits. And so, Lady of the Knits, uh, this sim has yarn running through her veins and will stop at nothing on her quest to craft the perfect knittable. Mm. If we complete this, then we will actually get the reward trait, Sacred Knitting Knowledge. Sims with this trait gain enhanced benefits to teaching other sims how to knit. Sims are also immune to the foul magic of the curse or the sweater curse and can dispel afflicted sims from the snarly grasp. Lastly, sims have the ability to craft unique knitted items, like a very special companion from a strange land the unravel i'm so excited about that oh my gosh i actually have an unravel back when the game came out they sent me a box with yarn and like wire to make my own yarny i really need to do the whole thing again that was so fun uh, or we could knit the forbidden sweater once we get this trait which honestly is forbidden for a reason so now all we need to do is knit for five hours which we've already done we need to start three knitting projects while inspired, which means we need to figure out how to get the inspired moodlet uh, waltzed. She's so happy out here. And we need to knit on a rocking chair. And then after we complete those, whoops, wrong button. After we complete those, it is thread setter, achieve level four of the knitting skill, knit while listening to music, and knit, sell a knitted object on Plopsy. 
<laughs> Our ghost great aunt might start having her own side hustle. What would she even spend it on? More yarn! Maybe I need to give her like an extra attic room that we can just cover in yarn now and we can literally just pile it to the walls with no regard for walking around in it because she's a ghost. That would be really cute. Can you imagine like the kind of creepy yet somewhat cozily cute idea of opening up a, a door in your attic and it was haunted with a yarn loving ghost and just like an avalanche of yarn falls out. That's adorable. I love that idea. We can, and then you do Dreamweaver, complete 10 excellent knittables, successfully gift three knittables, achieve level six knitting skill, and successfully show off your knitted sweater to another sim. Oh, good thing she has her great great grand like nieces and nephews to spoil that way. And then to complete level four, Lady of the Knits, we need to donate five knitted items to charity, which is why I think that we can actually yank uh, Amber into that for sure. We need to achieve level 10 of the knitting skill. Oh, it's a 10 leveler, I see. We need to complete five legendary knittables, and we need to teach another sim to knit. That sounds charming. That just sounds absolutely charming. Oh, and Devin finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Devin can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Congratulations, Devin. She has actually just completed. Look at her face. She has completed her book unraveling the nastiness of what can happen when business goes bad. We have the neighborhood unraveled. Very ironic that we started that many, many, many months ago and just finished it with Nifty Knitting coming out. It is excellent quality. It is sad genre. <laughs> because she was sad while she wrote it? What? A shocking tale of how a small town was betrayed by one of their own during a great scandal that left many a old lady's cookie jar empty. And this is about how a, a business was like stealing from the small town residents. I am so tickled, so, so tickled that she finished that in excellent quality. We should go ahead. Um, I guess we could give it to our daughter to make her read it because... Amber actually has the aspiration to finish reading three books. Uh, oh, and then also Devin has finished her aspiration of fabulously wealthy. So she has the reward trait shrewd now, which means she receives a direct deposit each week based on the household funds, which is really cool. We'll talk more about that in the future. But now I have to pick a new aspiration for her. And I was actually a little disappointed that there's not an aspiration to become a millionaire because I feel like that would be Devin's next goal. She just grew up super poor. Her family has always traditionally been super poor. Things looked really bad. They were losing the Green family wealth back when she first, like, moved in and had kids with Pine. Pine kept getting fired from every job because he's got his own little learning quirks and just could not seem to... He, he was just awful. He just... Everything we tried to have him do, he set things on fire. He almost wrecked the hospital. He just could not work to save his life. So I feel like Devin would have this idea that having a million dollars would secure her and her family. So we're going to low-key have that be one of her goals. Um, we could have her do a mansion baron. But I think we're really close to actually, like, if I do Mansion Baron, aspiration complete. Devin has just achieved her dream of building the ultimate mansion. She certainly earned a lap of, vic of uh, a, victory, a victory lap of luxury. Title earned thrifty. Get a rebate for all the build mode purchases. So somehow we just completed the Mansion Baron, which I'm going to interpret means... <laughs> that, uh, yeah, did we just get that? We just did. Yeah, we did. Okay, I didn't think we would just complete that aspiration right away because I thought there was a couple things left we had to do, but I think because of how much money they have and because some of the CC we have counts as columns, I think that was actually just completed too. <laughs> so we're going to interpret that as she has secured the family farm. She's now got the reward trait thrifty. Thrifty Sims receive a 10% rebate on build, all build mode purchases made each week. Rebates will be directly applied to household funds. Um, so now I could have her work on maybe being like a world famous celebrity so that she could go ahead and try to become, she wants to become famous for uh, ethical business and busting bad business and kind of rewriting the business world. She wants to become a famous business person. Um, but I think that she would be more focused on like maybe knowledge. I 
I don't see her doing rocket ship stuff, though. And we'll talk about the academic stuff in a little bit, hint, hint. So I think for now, we're going to have her be a best-selling author, just because she's going to focus on writing exposés about all of these really terrible, like, companies who have tried to destroy, like, the, the ethics of small towns and, and betraying people. She's going to expose everyone who, who dares to manipulate the law and tax advantaged accounts in ways that should be illegal and nefarious. So we'll have her do that. <laughs> Ooh, that was a bit of a mouthful, but hey, there was a lot to, like, explain. And I'm going to have her go ahead and actually um, sell to publisher. Sell to a publisher will grant a moderate amount of royalties which are received daily. Self-publish. Um, I mean, I don't know why we would self-publish. This is excellent quality. So let's sell that to the... There we go. Sell that. Phew! <laughs> Meanwhile, with all of this yammering and yammering going on and on and on... Ooh, my. There's a lot of cheering for, like, I'm glad that she's feeling confident. She legitimately went from, like, sobbing her eyes out and being so sad she could hardly function because she got fired yet again to feeling so confident music is just playing in the house. <laughs> so good for you, Devin. Can I buy you some sort of perk that would be really good for you? Um, Forever fresh, forever full, never weary. Oh, a money tree! Oh! <gasps> We're going to buy a money tree. That is so perfect for... That is so perfect for explaining, like, Devin and explaining what's going on and explaining how, honestly, the seed money for all this nonsense comes from the family farm. Uh, we're going to come over and plant this. And then that's where we'll end off today. Yes, that is 100% perfect for where she would want to be and how we'd want to work this out. Allison, you doing good? She's doing good. She's knitting us a plant cozy. And there is some delicious mac and cheese. Devin's most recent book, the most recent book that Devin wrote has been nominated for an award. What? Check the award ceremony Sunday at 7 p.m. to see if she won. Are you kidding me? Devin, dang! And she just got more fame. It's out in the world now. Now each day Devin will earn a moderate amount of royalties. How's your public image? I can't believe that we just got nominated for an award and it didn't make us a level three celebrity. Okay, um, what the heck? Oh jeez, Fern, you're not supposed to be here. Fern. Okay, we're gonna ignore the fact that Fern's trying to sneak into the house to visit her family. <laughs> She's supposed to be hiding in, um, it's supposed to be hiding in the Green Harbor area. Heck, uh, hang on one second. I need to make sure we go on Sunday. Like, this is an event? Like, this is- or let's do a holiday? Book nomination. We need to, like, make this a big deal. Um... This- there we go. That looks fancier. Uh, day off work school. Nobody really needs to worry about that. We'll appreciate an object. And then we need to, like, travel. Where's just travel? We're gonna make some resolutions. Let's listen to music. Um, I, I know I have travel in here. Just travel somewhere, right? Yeah, go on. We're, we'll travel. Um, and anything else that has to do with, like, art and music spirit? Not really. Because this is exciting. Devin just got nominated for an award for all of this. Give speech. Yeah, giving a speech. Uh, it definitely counts. Okay, there we go. For the award day. So we need to go to the Starlight Accolades on Sunday. What an exciting event. And what the heck was that coming on up? Is this <gasps> Love Day? Oh, that's so sweet. I wonder if she and Pine might do something. They need to get married soon. Devin was always really insecure about money and didn't want to have the wedding until they were quote unquote secure. But come on, she's literally planting... She's literally planting a money tree. Also, yay! Allison has finished another knitting project and Toby is sleeping behind us. And you know what? Everybody needs to come. Let's grab a serving. Everybody needs to come and grab some of the meal. And then let's uh, call to meal. There we go. All right. How are we doing? Fern, you shouldn't be here. Woo! And now our money tree is planted. I like it. I like it. 
our very first money tree. The, the whole idea behind the money trees for the Green family is that we just constantly have the farm giving back in ways that Devin constantly underestimates because she thinks it's all her business savvy skills. But you are business savvy too, Devin. Holy cow, I'm really impressed with that. But all right, so that is enough for now. Holy cow, what a fun day. I, oh, and the table was even set by someone. That's adorable. Oh, and now there's not enough food to go around. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, Devin can grab something. And somebody fed the toddler, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, somebody fed the toddler. Or he fed himself. Wait. He, he snuck away with the mac and cheese. Griffin, why are you so cute? <laughs> He's going to smear that all over the library. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am so tickled to be back with the family. We'll definitely stay with them for a few days, maybe until we can see the Starlight Accolades, because um, that'll explain why the family has been so busy and caught up in everything. And then we will be returning to Fern. I am ready to really kind of dive in with what I want to happen to Fern's story and where I want her legacy to go as her, the Generation 3 heiress. We played it really gentle with the beginning of eco lifestyles now that i know what it has to offer i'm ready to dive into the serious stuff so i'm really looking forward to that if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye